The roads washed out in the Selberg family's neighborhood Thursday night, but they found a way to make life kind of normal. And we're going to the circus. <laughs> By boat. By boat, yeah. <laughs> Dykes protect their home and the dozen around them. They say this has become their spring routine. Got it down to a science. Yeah, it's it's really not that bad other than, you know, getting groceries and stuff across. And... After a week of sandbagging, the rest of the people of Fargo enjoy a similar sense of calm. Even with water splashing up against sandbags and the National Guard walking through backyards checking for leaks. I'm thinking, thank goodness uh, that uh, we escaped. The mayor passed out cigars to celebrate the river's crest, but warned people to stay vigilant. Officials caution any rain could bring the river levels back up. I mean, it doesn't take much to bounce this back, okay? So they have the Coast Guard out here patrolling the neighborhoods, making sure everybody's okay. They're also out here looking for people who might be out for a joyride on a kayak or a canoe. If they catch them, they could find them $32,000, but so far they found everyone's following the law. Most of the people are dug in, ready for it, um, real nice people. Who've had to weather a tiring, but not devastating, month. I think everybody's just willing to do it, and it's a part of life. And if you can see here, this is a little league field, and likely there won't be many spring games being played here anytime soon. It's covered under several feet of water and will likely stay that way for at least a week. And then there's all the cleanup after that. Russ. Heather Brown of our Minneapolis station WCCO-TV joining us from Fargo, North Dakota tonight. Thanks, Heather.